Hello everyone and welcome to today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we'll be going over a feature in SOLIDWORKS called Mate References. Mate references allow us to save a lot of time spent creating and defining mates within assemblies, especially in situations where we are working in an assembly with multiple components that have a specified number of mates and that will be inserted multiple times into the assembly. The way mate references allow us to cut time is by defining the mates within the part level to specify where exactly it will be placed into the specified components and we will show just exactly how you can set that up. So you see how on this particular window we have two parts open. On the left we see uh, an extrusion with a certain shape that will be acting as a key to be inserted into the two slots shown on the component on the right. So to define the meet references, we just find it under the reference geometry section in the features tab. We select meet reference and you see that opens up the definition. So we have to define the reference name as well as three reference entities. So the reference name, we will call this keyhole. And this is important to note because the reference name will have to match on both components in order for the meet reference to work properly. For the primary reference entity, we'll select this circular face here. We'll define that as a concentric mate and set the alignment to be anti-aligned due to the fact that for the secondary reference entity, we'll be selecting the bottom face here. For this particular reference entity, we'll select coincident, leave the alignment as any, and for the tertiary one, we will select this rectangular face and set that as a coincident and any alignment as well. So we've defined that and you see here SOLIDWORKS creates a mate references folder and you see our keyhole mate reference listed. So we do the exact same thing on the right side component. We select mate references and then we define the reference name to be the same as the one we want it to match with on the left. So keyhole, I've already defined it for the left side slot so we'll just do this for the right side. So you have to select it in the same order that you created the mate reference for the left component. So we'll select this circular face here, set that as a concentric mate to be anti-aligned. The secondary reference will be the bottom face with the coincident mate and any alignment and for the tertiary reference we select the rectangular face with the coincident and any alignment. So once we have completed that, we now have two mate references defined for each specific slot that will be accounted for when we go in to insert the component on the left. So now we have the slot opened up in the assembly mode and you'll see just how easy it is to simply drag and drop the component and it will automatically snap into place once we put it near the slot. So we select the key part drag it over and SOLIDWORKS recognizes the mate references and automatically snaps it into place. We do it again for the right side slot. So you see here in the assembly all of our mates are defined here and the two parts are all fully defined. So this is how mate references allow users to save a lot of time doing repetitive mates in an assembly. So that's how you use the mate references feature and we'll see you on the next Tech Tip Tuesday. Thank you.